was it was tight. Tight. It was tight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to In Bed With Lainey, where we get stripped down to our raw, authentic selves to talk about sensuality and get a little comfortably uncomfortable. And today, I am so lucky to get to be speaking with the beautiful Aria. Aria, please tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about yourself. Thank you so much, Lainey. Hi guys, I am a coach and counselor and sometimes business consultant. I'm here on this earth to live my own unique path and to inspire others to do the same. Uh, I work with people in periods of change and transition, um, either to move through something that uh, has presented itself to you, whether you like it or not, or to fearlessly call forth periods of change. Um, and I'm excited to have this conversation with you today. Me too. I'm frequently inspired by Aria, so I really highly recommend working with her if you get the, the opportunity to. And today, Aria, what would you love to be speaking about? Um, I would love to share a little bit about non-monogamy and open relationships, but really, underneath that, this beautiful concept of openings. Yes, I love this topic of conversation because I am very curious about it and uh, uncertain about where I fit on the line mm -hmm. of uh, monogamy versus um, leaving an opening mm -hmm. for, for possibility and uh, I think I'm monogamous but I like the idea of having the option. Mm. So please uh, paint a, a picture. Sure. Well, I so appreciate your curiosity and your willingness to have the conversation. I think that's it's really bold and, and brave, so thank you. Um, for me personally, it was doing a lot of introspective of work, and as I got to know myself better, it was a summer of New York, and I just I realized that I was a really outgoing, gregarious person and that I had a lot of interactions with people, with strangers all the time and that there were these fun moments of flirting over coffee or locking eyes on the subway or just having these great little moments with people, some familiar, some unfamiliar and I just got super clear that I didn't ever want to give those moments up in order to be in a committed romantic relationship. Um, and so as I've evolved in my own relationships, um, including the beautiful, loving one that I'm in now... Um, Enviable, beautiful, loving <laughs> relationship, yes. It's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And um, I just know that that's always going to be a part of my identity, is to be able to have those interactions and to completely understand that they don't in any way diminish what I have in our relationship. So it's gorgeous. So what is the foundation that you guys had to create in order to open your relationship up mm -hmm. to this type of or way of being? We were lucky enough to approach it independently, so we had both been thinking about this concept um, for a while separately, even before we met. Um, there were a few f practical factors like distance, long distance involved that um, uh, that's one great container in which to explore being open yeah. for obvious reasons. Um, but even now, as, as we cohabitate and build our life together, um, we've had a, a new conversation, I, th I think, because life is so fluid and changes so much that any relationship, no matter what the agreement is, is can be up for evolving and, and changing and, and redefining and just making sure that your needs are being met, that you're communicating what your boundaries are, that you're both growing together. It's super essential, I think, in, in any relationship. So what does it take to make something like this work for you mm. and for your partner? It definitely takes self-love and um, a lot of you giving yourself what you need um, before looking for that from another person. And then once you're in that, that dance with a partner, um, being super communicative and um, trusting, and as I said, being willing to, to redefine what the agreement is 
given the, the different moment, there's, there's so many situations that can fly at you yes, unexpectedly. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I'm thinking of some scenarios yes. in my head. I'm like, how do you deal with that? But yes, uh, honesty and communication and, and patience mm -hmm. and most certainty, uh, a deep, profound love yeah. for, for each other. Um, has to be the foundation in which you build something Absolutely. like this. And I would add patience with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a more natural process for him, for my partner, than it has been for me. I, I definitely have I've had moments of struggle and ups and downs and, and hitting walls and having surprises fly at me that um, have left me not cool, calm, and collected. And, and sorry, <laughs> dealing with those... Um, those unexpected moments and being patient as you go through growth is, is a huge, huge part of it. So any advice for somebody that's curious or thinking that perhaps this is something that they would like to explore in their lives or their relationship? Yeah, I, I, starting with compassion for yourself, that it's okay to be curious and that it's okay to experience other people and, in, in, you know, we have different kinds of friends. It's okay to have different kinds of of romantic and sexual needs met in different ways and sometimes that looks like other people and, and just having that um, first step of knowing that that's okay is a, is a great place to start. Um, it's also fun to share with friends as well as with romantic interests because feeling that support um, and experiencing people loving you no matter what is, is, is really profound. Yeah, I guess that would have a really interesting effect on your other relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and create a, certainly an, an opening, mm -hmm. speaking of openings. So, wow, all of the different ways in which opening yourself up to possibilities mm -hmm. can penetrate your life. So thank you, Aria, for sharing your wisdom and for creating a sense of excitement and curiosity mm. within us all. And if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? You can go to my website, which is ariaintrepid.com, and you can put your email address uh, there, and I will be sure to follow up with you directly. Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and see you <laughs> next time.